Hold on to your coconut spawnlings because Nintendo's great ape and chimpanzee chum returns. Donkey and Diddy Kong are back to their side-scrolling shenanigans in Donkey Kong Country Returns, and this time it's got a very retro feel to it. But just in case you never played the originals, Darren, how about we run your denubification process and tell us a bit about them. Oh, affirmative. The original Donkey Kong Country appeared in 1994 on the Super Nintendo home console, and it immediately became a classic of the platform genre. It featured gameplay in a mere two dimensions, but with advanced pre-rendered 3D graphics that set it apart from other games in its class. It also introduced the world to Diddy Kong, the smaller, cheekier monkey of the DK duo. It was really good fun as well. And I remember playing the original and just having such a good time with it. And you know what, Hex, when I started playing this one, I felt the exact same way. Yeah, me too. And I think it's because Nintendo and the game's developer, Retro Studios, were really heavy with the nostalgia here. You control both Donkey and Diddy Kong in classic gap jumping, baddie bouncing style. There's an old fashioned map screen linking together the many tropical island themed worlds and loads of other little things from previous games like the DK barrels that'll respawn your lost companion or the rideable animal mounts like Rambi the Rhinoceros. All the vines swinging, ground pounding and barrel blasting make it a very nostalgic experience, but the 2.5D level design makes it more than just a nostalgic trip. You know, it's not just more of the same, it's more of the same, but it looks a bit better. Mm. Some of the new levels feature really cool additions, like the huge tidal waves crashing from the background to the foreground, jet-propelled rocket rides, and some really beautiful levels that take place entirely in silhouette. And of course, there's always minecarts. So many minecarts. One thing that didn't make a reappearance, which I was a bit disappointed about, Hex, were the Kremlings. You know, they're Donkey Kong's foes from the very first game, and they're just not here. Indeed. I always found the Kremlings to be a most agreeable foe. The omission of such evil genius is a gaming crime of the highest order. It's an outrage. I shall find who is responsible and then charge my laser. Hold that laser, Darren. The baddies aren't all that bad. I mean, sure, they are just a bunch of haunted tiki masks and an army of seafood soldiers, and they're not as cool as the Kremlings, but well, the game does offer some really cool boss characters like this one. There's also some new control features that make use of the Wii mode. You can shake the controller to make Donkey or Diddy pound the ground, which will open up new passageways and secrets, and Donkey can blow out fires while Diddy shoots peanuts. It never gets too complex, and it stays far from a Wagglefest territory. One new thing that this game does well is co-op, with two players able to play as Donkey and Diddy. Co-op is definitely a lot of fun, but if you think that playing co-op is going to make things easier, think again, because you lose lives twice as fast. And I guess it's a good trade-off if you've got someone to monkey about with. Hmm. I think the best thing I'll take away from DK Country Returns is the music. And the reason why it's so great is it's because they haven't messed with it at all. In fact, it almost sounds identical to the original tunes. And I think that plays into the whole philosophy behind this game, which is it's old school platforming polished up for a new audience, and mostly it works. I think if you're a fan of the original games, you'll get a great nostalgic trip here, but even if you're not, this is a great platforming game, and I'm giving it 9 out of 10 rubber chicken. I think this game will hold a lot more value for old schoolers than it will for new players, just because it is so deeply nostalgic, you know. But having said that, I still think it's up there with the likes of New Super Mario Bros. Wii as one of this generation's best traditional platformers, so I'm going to give it 8.5 out of 10 rubber chickens. It reminded me of one of my favourite bands. What's that, Darren? Banana Rama! Yeah, they're pretty good. Oh, Affirmative. Right. I don't know what he's talking about, Hex. Ring, 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 banana phone. How long have you done? Ring, 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 